HRV or High Rider Revolutionary Vehicle is Honda's latest subcompact crossover SUV. With its sports coupe inspired design and unique features, this third generation HRV brings quite a lot to the table. The advanced model we are reviewing today has a length of 4.34 meters. A uh, width of 1.79 meters without including the side mirrors and a height of 1.58 meters. This compact size alongside the 18 inch alloy wheels and the impressive 188 mm ground clearance should ensure a more comfortable and incident free ride on rougher terrain. Starting from the rear, the HRV features two futuristic looking taillight bars connected in the middle by the Honda logo. Although this design might be somewhat inspired by other manufacturers, it is still stunning both day and night. The hidden exhaust design and small emblems help keep the rear clean and striking. Among the most appreciated features of the HRV is the electric tailgate. It can function in several ways, using the button above the license plate, using the car key, using the kick sensor, or pressing a button on the dashboard. The trunk is decent for its class, but other manufacturers offer more space. With the 335 liters of capacity that includes an under the floor compartment, you will have more than enough room for daily use. For more space, you can lower the 60 by 40 split rear seats for a flat surface gaining a total of 1,305 liters of storage capacity. Moving towards the front, you will notice a hidden rear handle design, similar to the previous model, further enhancing the coupe look. Getting in the back is easy, as the rear doors offer good access. I have a height of 1.82 meters and the driver's seat is in my normal driving position. There is plenty of footroom and a decent amount of headroom, so most average to taller people will have no issues in the back. Also, as the hybrid system's batteries are located in the bottom of the trunk, the rear seats feel comfortable. Both rear and front seats are covered in black synthetic leather and fabric that feels good to the touch. Rear storage space includes an armrest with two cup holders, a small middle bin, rear door bins, and front seat back pockets with a smartphone holder. Visibility from the back is good, but sadly the windows don't go down all the way. Even though you won't get a sunroof, the light colored headliner improves the interior lighting. Connectivity-wise, the rear passengers only get a pair of USB-A ports for charging their devices. The most innovative feature of the Honda HRV, called Magic Seats, enables you to close the rear seats upwards. This way, you can carry taller items in the back. Before moving to the front, here's a sound test of the rear door closing. The driver's seat, or my favorite place in a car, has a nice design and offers a bit of lumbar support. Even though you won't get any electrical adjustments, you will easily find a good driving position. 
As for storage space, you get front door bins, two phone holders in the middle, a pair of cup holders, small storage space under the armrest, and a glove compartment. Visibility in the front is good, with almost no blind spots, and due to the large door mirrors, you can easily see down the sides of the vehicle. Connectivity in the front is made up of two USB-A ports, one for charging a device and the other for the Honda Connect interface. You also get a cigarette lighter, giving you multiple choices to charge your devices. The infotainment system of the HRV uses two displays. A smaller screen covers half of the instrument cluster, while the other half is an analog speedometer. Various information about the vehicle is indicated, such as battery level, hybrid system energy flow, range and fuel stats, turn-by-turn -turn directions taken from the navigation, and more. The displayed information can be easily changed using the physical buttons on the steering wheel. The additional larger 9-inch screen further enhances the user experience by adding navigation support, various options for customizing the vehicle, and last but not least, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The touchscreen is pretty responsive and it is a good thing that Honda added physical buttons for important functions. Additional attention to detail was given to the air conditioning controls, as you will notice a subtle color change based on your temperature adjustments. Also, the air vents have a design that allows you to redirect the airflow to the side of the vehicle using a rotary switch. Another sound test, this time of the front door closing, shows just how well built it sounds. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that the doors cover the sill, so you won't get your pants dirty when getting in or out of the car. In the front, you will notice a more aggressive design with a body-colored grille that gives a subtle contrast to the Honda logo. The thin shape of the LED headlights complements this look. During the nighttime, the auto mode will switch between low and high beams based on upcoming traffic and lighting conditions, offering good visibility. The European version of the Honda HRV comes in three trim levels Elegance, Advanced, and Advanced Style, all powered by a 1.5 liter petrol electric hybrid engine with an eCVT transmission with three drive modes Econ, Normal, and Sport. All trim levels come equipped with the Honda Sensing Safety features, among which I will mention the blind spot information including cross traffic monitoring, the collision mitigation braking system, the adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, the road departure mitigation, the traffic sign recognition system, the lane keeping assist system and e-call system. In conclusion, I would add that the Honda HRV is a good alternative for transitioning from fossil fuels to electric power, especially if most of your journeys will be around town.